We often think of a peacekeeper as someone outside of ourself. Someone out there we give the job to of maintaining peace in the world. Now, if we actually want to create more peace in the world, this is not enough. As long as we're giving someone else that responsibility, it means we're not taking full responsibility for ourselves, for our own contributions, for how our words and our actions impact other people. Because all of the unrest, the conflict and the turmoil that's happening out there in the world, no matter how big or small, is a result of the unrest, conflict and turmoil that's happening inside each one of us. And you don't have to take my word for this or anyone else's. If you're willing to honestly reflect on your own life experiences, you'll know this to be true for yourself. You know that when you're stressed, overwhelmed, unsettled or frustrated, it's much easier to get into an argument or a conflict of some kind. It's the natural result of those emotions, of those states of mind. So our inner conflicts do impose themselves out in the world. They create conflict in the world. Whereas when you're in a more peaceful, calm or more joyous mood, you naturally feel more open and connected to the people you interact with. You have more patience, understanding and compassion. When you feel connected to someone, you don't do them harm because you seek common ground. You have understanding. So we can't expect someone else to take care of the peace in the world. It's up to each one of us because it starts in here. We are all part of this environment of humanity that we live in. And it's time that we realize this and step up and take responsibility for our actions and our words and how they impact others. As the Dalai Lama said, we can never obtain peace in the outer world until we make peace with ourself. So what the world needs are people who know what peace is on the inside, not just an idea or a concept in their head, but a knowing in their heart. Because the essence of a peacekeeper is peace. And when we act from a place of peace from our heart, this will carry a sense of peace into the world. A sense of care and understanding that will ripple into the lives of the people we interact with. So I'd like to redefine what a peacekeeper is. So a peacekeeper is someone who, first and foremost, seeks peace on the inside to overcome their own inner conflict and then acts and lives from that place. A peacekeeper is someone who seeks understanding and truth rather than conflict and trying to hold on to pre-held or unconscious belief systems. A peacekeeper is someone who understands they're part of something greater than themselves, humanity, and desire to make a positive impact in the lives of others. A peacekeeper is someone who knows that their outward actions are a result of their inner state of mind, and so strive to maintain the integrity of their actions and words by living from their heart. So this is not an official position given by someone else. These are just people who care, people sensitive to the peace and the wisdom of their heart and their connection to humanity. So I invite you to be a peacekeeper. Be the peacekeeper the world needs. And this could be something as simple and profound as impacting the lives of your children. Teaching your children, by example, how to live from the heart, what peace is. To bring a sense of deeper connection to your family and friends. Holding space for someone when they're traumatized or emotional or upset. Bringing a sense of peace and connectedness to your workplace. Bringing that sense of peace and clarity when there is emotional turmoil or conflict and not fueling it, but staying in a space of peace. Bringing heart. So like a candle anchors some light into a dark room, you can anchor some peace 
into the world through your heart. And the world needs your heart to shine. So it's time for us all to drop out of our head, our noisy head, and into our heart. And make a choice of what kind of a world we want to live in. Now, if you're inspired by this message, if you feel your heart respond, please share. Share this video so that others around the world can be inspired to open their heart. And together, we can bring some more peace and connection into the world. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your presence. I appreciate your time. And I look forward to sharing more with you very soon.